now let's see this example design pda to accept the language l is equal to a power 2n b power n where n is greater than or equal to 1 so here n value starts from 1 let us write the language if n is equal to 1 then a power 2 into 1 so that is a power 2 into b power 1 so that is b so a power 2 means we have to write a twice b power 1 means we have to write b once if n is equal to 2 then we will get a power 2 into 2 that is a power 4 into b power let n value is 2 so 2 so a power 4 means we have to write a 4 times b power 2 means we have to write b twice let n is equal to 3 then a power 2 into 3 that is a power 6 so we have to write a 6 times b power 3 means we need to write uh, b thrice now let us see the logic here the logic is very very simple first step is push first a onto the stack here we have to push first a odd number a first a and then third a fifth a seventh a ninth a likewise and the second step is ignore the next year. So we have to ignore the next year. That means we have to ignore the even number year. So second year, fourth year, sixth year, likewise. Third step, repeat step one and step two until all the A's are covered. Next step is when B occurs, then pop the stack. So let's take a string. Let the string is, let the string is, uh, 4a double b 4a double b we know that here the string ends with epsilon why because epsilon into any string is nothing but that any string only so by multiplying with epsilon the string won't changes here the logic is very very simple first let's see the logic initially the stack is empty and initially the input symbol is a so for the first a what we have to do we have to push this a onto the stack. Next, read here dz, second a. We have to ignore the second a. Next, so keep the content as it is. Ignore the second a. So that means don't perform any operation on the stack. Next, read here will be a third a. So if the input symbol is first a, third a, fifth a, seventh a, then we need to perform the push operation. So then we have to do the push operation. Next, read here dz, next a. So we have to ignore this year. We have to ignore even number year. So second year, fourth year, sixth year, likewise. Okay. Next, the read. So here the input symbol is this fourth year. So we have to ignore this year. Next, the read head is at B. If the, if the input symbol is B, then simply we have to pop the stack. So pop the stack. Next, read head is at this position. Input symbol is B. Pop the stack. So here the read head reaches to the epsilon. So we will get final state. So we can say that our string will be accepted. So for this we have to design the PDA. So let us see the PDA. So initially, initially let the initial state is Q0. Let the initial state is Q0. So delta of Q0 comma. So initially the read head is at A. A comma. Initially the content of the stack is empty. Initially the content of the stack is empty. So Q0 comma A comma. So stack stack more symbol is Z dot. Then what we have to do? Simply we have to do the push operation. So while doing the push operation, there is no need to change the state. So keep the state as it is. And then push A onto the stack. So the content of the stack will become A Z dot. So here the uh, initially the read head is at A. And here the top of the stack is Z dot. So what we have enough, we will be at Q0 only. This A will be pushed onto the stack. So now the content of the stack will become A Z dot. So let us draw the PDA for this. PDA for this. So for space constraints, I am erasing this portion. So I am writing the uh, transition diagram here. Parallelly, I am writing the transition diagram. So here the state is, here the state is Q0 is the state. Initial state is Q0. Q0. So here, what is the input symbol? A is the input symbol. Content of the stack is Z0. 
then replaced with AZ0. So Z0 will be replaced with AZ0. So this is the transition. Next, we are at Q0 state only. And next, the read head points to the second head. Second head. And what is the top of the stack? A. Then, we have to change the state from Q0 to Q1. So for the second A, we need to, we need to ignore that A. For ignoring that A, what we have to do? Change the state from Q0 to Q1. Q0 to Q1. Here we are keeping the content of the stack as it is. So write that A as it is only. So don't perform any operation on the stack. Okay. So now what will happen? Now this A will be as it is only. So now if the input symbol is A and top of the stack is A, then we have to keep that A as it is only. But we are changing the state from Q0 to Q1. So now we are at which state? Q1 state. So now the read head points to the next A. So delta of. So now we are at Q1 state. So Q1 comma. So what is the input symbol? A. A comma. What is the content of the step? A. So this is third A. So if it is third A, odd number A, then what we have to do? We have to do the push operation. We have to do the push operation. But change the state from Q1 to Q0. Why? Because after third A, we will get fourth A. We have to ignore that A. So we can use the transition. So that's why it is better to backtrack to Q0 state. So then change the state from Q1 to Q0. And what we have to do? This is third A. So we have to do the push operation. So this A will be pushed onto the stack. So now the content of the stack is Q0 AA. So now what will happen? This A will be pushed onto the stack. So now what is the transition function? So let us write here. Here the input symbol is A. And top of the stack is A. Then what we are doing? We are pushing this A. So now the result of the stack is AA. So if you see this diagram. So now we are reading A. So now the, we will go to the Q0 state. So now we will be at Q0 state and the read head points to the fourth A. So now we are at now we are at which state? Q0. And what is the input symbol? A is the input symbol. And top of the stack is A. Q0 comma A comma E. A comma A. It was already written. So there is no need to write the transition function one more time. So if the input symbol is A and top of the stack is A and if we are at Q0 state then what we are doing? Then we will move to the Q1 state and we have to ignore that A. So that means keep that A as it is only. Okay. So now we are at Q1 state. So this is fourth A. So ignore that A. Next read head will point to the B. So now we are at which state? Now we are at Q1 state. Now we are at Q1 state. Input symbol is B. And what is the top of the stack? A is the top of the stack. If the input symbol is B and top of the stack is A, then we have to do the pop operation. So for the first B, change the state from Q1 to its next state that is Q2. So now we will go to the Q2 state. Here what we are doing? Pop operation. In order to denote the pop operation, we are writing epsilon. Epsilon denotes that we are performing the pop operation. So now, here the input symbol is B. Top of the stack is A. Then do the push pop operation. And we will be moving from Q1 to Q2 state. So now what will happen? Here the input is B. Top of the stack is A. So do the pop operation. And then after that, the head points to the next B. So on Q2, we may have any number of Bs. If we apply any number of Bs on Q2. So delta of Q2 comma. So now input symbol is B. Top of the stack is A. Then we will stay at Q2 only. We may have, if n is equal to 3, then we have 2 Bs. After the first B, we will get 2 Bs. Then we will stay at Q2 only. So do the pop operation. So for all the Bs, we will be at Q2 only. So here, what is the input symbol? B is the input symbol. Top of the stack is A. Then do the pop operation. So epsilon denotes that we are performing the pop operation. Next, so here the input symbol is B. So this A will be popped. And after that, the input is at, the read head is at epsilon. 
If the read head is at epsilon, then it specifies that the complete input string is processed. Epsilon specifies that we reach at the end of the string. So now we have to go from this state to the final state. So now the transition is delta of q2 comma. Here what is the input? Epsilon is the input. And what is the content of the stack? Z dot. Then move from q2 to q3. So this q3 is nothing but the final state. q3 is nothing but final state. q3 comma. We can keep this z dot as it is. Or remove the z dot by, by writing epsilon here. So here what is the transition function? So here epsilon is the input symbol. Epsilon is the input symbol. And content of the stack is z naught. Then keep the z naught as it is. And we are moving from Q2 to the Q3 state where Q3 is the final state. So this is nothing but transition diagram. So now we have to design the PDA. So how to write the PDA? We know that PDA is defined with the help of seven tuples. Q comma, sigma comma, tau comma, delta comma, Q naught comma, Z naught comma, F. So that is equal to, here what is Q? Q naught, Q1, Q2, Q3. So this is our PDA. So Q naught, Q1, Q2, Q3. What is sigma? Here the input string mainly contains two symbols. They are A and B, comma. What is tau? Here the stack alphabet mainly contains two symbols. Z naught and A. Z naught and A. What is delta? All these are delta only. All the transition functions are already written. So Q naught is the initial state. Z naught is the initial symbol present in the stack. And what is the final state? Q3 is the final state. So in this way we can design the PDA for this language. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.